Well, this is intense. They talk about it for months, they remember it for years. It matters almost too much when Barca and Real collide. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. Well, it's a friendly in theory, but we are expecting this to be fiercely contested. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. Well, we're on the way. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Jordi Alba. He's got such searing pace, Peter. He gets to the byline in the blink of an eye. And from there, his crosses are, are pinpoint and very hard to defend against. This opposition defence is going to have its work cut out, trying to keep him quiet. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Jordi Alba tries to get it forward quickly. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And it's Dembele. Lobs it in gently. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Hector Bellerin. A real chance to break. Cut out in the nick of time. It's been a pretty frantic start, a lot of front foot pressing. Hector Bellerin. That's a corner kick. And it's been taken short. In comes the cross. Barcelona are working the ball as only they can. Yeah, Peter, and it's a style that requires players of high-caliber technique to move the ball about quickly in tight areas. Real Madrid can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempt, zero goals, and uh, excitement? Forget it. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Vinicius Junior. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Hector Bellerin. And it's Hector Bellerin. A really good feat. And here's the... It's Memphis Depay! 
Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. work on the right flank now what's next has gone out and that is going to be the final action of the first half so the other team has broken through but certainly not for the want of trying it's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. So we're just settling back into this second half. A tight old game so far. Can that change now? He's found his man. Vinicius Junior. Alaba. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Modric. Kings it out wide. Goes for the cross. And the keeper's in command. And it's Hector Berrien. Crunching tackle. Still absolutely nothing to report here, goals-wise. Real Madrid couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but... I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch not to give up hope just yet. Neatly flicked on. Hector Behrin plays a clever pass. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Rudiger. Lewandowski. It's a loose ball. Now it's Lewandowski. Now it's the Dem there's a goal listen I've experienced that both for and against and you won't have to guess which one I preferred yeah looking back at that that's how you play on the counter quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish I thought it was a stunning stunning breakaway There's going to be another change here. 
Barcelona take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Tries to dink it in. Real Madrid are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Alaba. And here's Azar. Gets away from his opponents. It's Benzema! It's in! Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they paid the price and deserved it. Of changes then in quick succession. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Real Madrid grabbed the equaliser, and we're all square. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Shoots! Lacking in accuracy. Christensen gets it back. Jordi Alba. There's only one word for this. It's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. Dumbele. Jordi Alba. Needs a quality cross. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Smart save, he had plenty to do. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. So it's ended in a draw, draft and draft and everything apart from a winning goal that never came. An intriguing contest and a result which at least partly satisfies all. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Yeah, I think the first thing to say is that the draw was about the right result. It had everything you want in a clash of this nature, the commitment, the passion, great ebb and flow to the game. And I think everybody can go home with a, a little bit of satisfaction from this.